So you're completely broke, but you want to become a 3D artist and you need software, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you five platforms that will allow you to create an entire pipeline and all of these packages are completely free. Here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keyshot. Alright guys, well this is a pretty special video because it's very much in line with the reason why I started my YouTube channel in the first place. Uh, I wanted to make educational videos for people new to the industry that don't have the means to go to college or pay for expensive classes, right? And uh, this is kind of in line with that because what if you uh, have the knowledge or want to get the knowledge but you don't have the software to work with? Now in this video I'm going to show you guys uh, my top five of completely free software packages uh, that will allow you to create a pipeline of your own and you can get started uh, learning in the wonderful world of 3D, right? Okay, so number one on my list, not the top, but just the first one, is Daz 3D, formerly known as Daz. This is pretty much a full 3D suite. Like it says here, you can model, you can render, you can animate. You've got all sorts of goodies to play with, and uh, you've got the free download button right here. And what I'll do is I'll put a link uh, under the video so you can get it. And uh, to my uh, knowledge, this is a completely free application. You can do anything you want with this software and use it commercially as well, right? So that's a very good start. Like I said, pretty full package. A uh, couple of features that are neat in DAZ is that uh, they work with a lot of, I wouldn't call it presets, but you can uh, take existing characters, you can add clothing and so forth. So even with limited knowledge and limited skill, you can even get a good start to create some awesome stuff, right? So for that reason, DAZ is on my list. Okay, next up. Okay, well, this one's pretty important, of course, Sculptress. It's a product by uh, Pixelogic. Again, this is free. Uh, Pixelogic is the creator of uh, ZBrush, and uh, Sculptress is a sculpting tool. Now, sculpting, uh, digital sculpting, can be used for so many things. Uh, the obvious uh, one being, for example, a character or, you know, um, a biped or a quadped creation, like monsters or whatnot but also very important to add, let's say, details to hard surface uh, modeling uh, props and whatnot, right? Now, it's a very powerful tool. It has a learning curve, though, uh, as ZBrush has as well, because the user interface is uh, quite different than what you're used to from other 3D packages, probably because it was never created as a 3D package to begin with. It just uh, evolved that way, right? But once you get the hang of it, uh, you'll be able to create some very cool stuff. Again, it's free, and it's a very good... Um, a step uh, from this to ZBrush because once you've got that interface down, you'll be able to learn that quicker, right? So definitely check that out. And uh, that said, let's jump on to the next one. Okay, so GIMP, again, completely free. Now GIMP, uh, I like to call this the uh, Photoshop lookalike. So if you uh, don't have Photoshop, and especially with the Creative Cloud nowadays, where you have to pay a monthly fee for the Adobe products, Having a, um, a Photoshop similar product for free is uh, pretty awesome. And I know quite a few people that use GIMP. Uh, it is uh, not too hard to uh, get the hang of. And it's a very powerful, for example, if you want to do a manual texturing on your UV map layout and so forth, right? So again, I'll put a link below to this guy and uh, check it out. Okay, well, this is a golden oldie. This one has been around for a long, long time, and uh, it is absolutely awesome. It looks very simple. It looks very basic. This is more a tool, I would say, instead of an application, but nevertheless, very, very important and very cool because it works quite well, even better than many, many applications that look a lot more professional. So what does it do? Well, the name suggests X normal. It is a tool to bake normal maps. So you can uh, bring in your uh, low poly, your high poly, you can bake out normal apps here. Uh, it works quick, it works uh, quite well, and it's free, right? I know a lot of people that use it, also uh, a lot of people that are professional uh, 3D artists that use it, so definitely check that out, right? Okay, let's go to our final choice, and this is definitely my number one. Here we go. 
Okay, and finally, my number one choice, and I guess this is not a big surprise, Blender. Now, Blender is a complete 100% professional environment for 3D artists. I know a lot of people that are actually switching to Blender. Blender is completely free, also free to use commercially. So it has everything you need to work as a 3D artist. Um, you can uh, model, you can rig, you can do all that cool stuff. And I've actually uh, attended international uh, 3D artist events where people using uh, Blender were in the top three as far as uh, awards uh, are concerned, right? So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, Blender is um, kind of an acquired taste, I would say. Um, like anything in life, some people like Maya, some people like 3ds Max. Once you enter Blender, you usually stick with Blender, right? So definitely check that out. Uh, again, I'll put the link below. Uh, and that will give you five platforms that you can uh, consider for uh, your 3D pipeline. Please let me know uh, in the comments below uh, whether you enjoy these, or whether you knew them already or not, and whether you're gonna check them out. And if so, I'd love to see your work as well, right? So thank you guys so much for watching this little video, uh, and I uh, hope to see you guys again. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? See you guys next time, bye.